So our Nick, our last example is a symmetry example of dealing with some unit which is raised to some power. In this case, it will be cubed. So what we have here is two cubic feet, and let's say I want to change it to cubic centimeters. So what do I do? Well, when we think about relationship, we do not have a relationship between cubic feet and cubic centimeters. So what do I do now? Well, we can go from something quite simple. Well, we know that we can change from feet to inches and inches to centimeters, and we're going to we are going to develop and derive some. Units conversion factors based on this simple relationships. So let's start off with what is given. So two cubic centimeter uh, cubic feet, and we multiply it by a conversion factor. Now what do we put in here? Well, let's go back to the relationship. So I know that the relationship between foot and inches is that one foot is equal to. Twelve inches. Now it is not cubed. So what do I do? Do not just write a cube here because that's not true. What we need to do here is that raise both sides to the third power, because this is an equation. They are both equal to each other, and if they raise to the same power, they should equal to each other as well. So we raise to the third power, and we have one cube feet cubed. Twelve cubed inches cubed. Make sure you know, based on your Algebra One math class knowledge, that when you have something cubed, it is not only it does not only apply to the first uh, to the last term. When you have a parenthesis, it applies to every single term in the parenthesis. So when I simplify this, it becomes one cubic foot. And twelve to the third、uh, to the third power is twelve to the third power seventeen twenty eight. So seventeen seventeen twenty eight cubic inches. Now we have the cubic foot to cancel out this unit. Put a cubic foot in the bottom and cubic inches on top. So again, what's these two numbers? Go back to the relationship: one cubic foot and seventeen twenty-eight cubic inches. Okay, now we can cancel up these two units. What's next? Well, we now have cubic inches. We want to go to cubic centimeters, and let's work out the relationship again: inches, centimeters. One inch is equal to two point five four. Centimeters. So we're going to raise to the third power on both sides, and it becomes one cube inches cubed, two point five four cubed centimeters cubed. That is equal to one cubic inch, and two point five four raising to the third power is. Sixteen point three eight seven cubic centimeters. All right. Now, once we have this relationship, we can put it right here. We want to cancel out the cubic inches, and then we want a cubic centimeters on top. So, the numbers go back to the relationship. Okay. And now. If you just carry out the calculations, you would have two times seventeen twenty-eight times sixteen point three eight seven, and you get five six six three three point seven four seven two, and unit cubic centimeters. Now, how would you know the answer is correct? Well, if the relationships are correct, and the way you put it in the conversion factor is also correct, then this answer has to be correct, 
unless you put uh, you incorrectly put the uh, numbers into the calculator. But that's not the main. That's not the major point. The major point is you have this part set up correctly. So remember, whenever you have something raised to the sum power, you go to the simple relationship, and then you raised to the to the specific power on both sides and you get the number okay do not do this do not write something like this because this is not true one cubic foot is equal to 1728 cubic inches do not make this type of mistake alright